Hi, my name is Bree Clark and I'm a software expert. Today I'm going to show you how to make name tags using Excel. On my screen, you can see an Excel spreadsheet with a column for first name and a column for last name. This is what we'll use as the source for our name tags. But to create the name tags, we're actually going to go into Microsoft Word. In Word, we're going to the Mailings ribbon and then clicking Start Mail Merge. I'm going to pick Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Wizard to make it easy. The first thing I select is the document type. I want labels. Now we're actually creating name tags, but those are typically printed on some sort of label paper. So I'll click Next to start the document. Here I'm going to allow it to change the document layout. I'm going to click on Label Options to pick a specific label type. And the neat thing with this feature in Word is that it has preloaded a lot of different standard labels and name tags and other uh, types of office supplies you can buy at your office supply retailer. So I'm just going to go with uh, this one for now, the Avery 8920 mailing labels. They're one inch high and 2.63 inches across. So I'll click OK and then I'll click Next to select recipients. I want to use an existing list, that's my Excel list, so I'll just click Browse and I will navigate to where the document is stored. There's my email database, I'll click OK, I'll click Open, and now it wants to know which worksheet in that workbook so I'll pick customer addresses and I'm going to make sure it knows that the first row of data contains column headers. I'll click OK. And then I can actually uh, pick which, one, which of these people I want to include. I'm going to head and include, go ahead and include all of them, but notice you can pick and choose here. So I'll click OK. The next step is to arrange the labels. I'm going to click address block and I'm actually going to get rid of the postal address portion so I just have first name last name and I'll click OK and then I can click this preview results button or I can click preview your labels down here to see what they look like. Now this doesn't look quite right so what I want to do is go back a step and click update all labels. That way the format I picked on the first one will be reflected on all of them. So now when I preview my labels I see a bunch of individual names on one sheet. Then the next step would be completing the merge. I can either directly print these or I can edit individual labels, which means this would just merge into a brand new document. So I'll click that. I'll go ahead and pick all and click OK. And then I have a brand new document that I can print out onto my label paper. My name is Bree Clark, I'm a software expert, and I just showed you how to create name tags using Excel.